Good morning. I'm Axel, your personal testing companion. I'm here to monitor you through the testing course so that your experience is fully recorded to be examined in the future. Before we start, it's important to understand that testing will be very dangerous and I can't interfere with your testing experience to prevent any injuries or possible fatalities. Now that we've gotten the introduction out of the way, the testing will begin now. Tunnels can be pretty hard to latch onto, but you'll get the hang of it. Welcome to level zero. Yes! Level zero. This first test should be very simple. You'll figure it out. I believe in you. Yay! I knew you'd be able to do it! Most subjects experience overexhaustion from testing as hard as you just did, so here we have one of many rest areas designed for your health. Feel free to take a nap or something. I won't watch. Another test done. I'm sure you're very excited to finish them all. You'll love what we have for you afterwards. You may have already noticed the Ecliptic Industries Short Distance Tunneling Device. It's required to continue on to the next tests. Most subjects may fear the Ecliptic Tunneling Device. However, it is completely safe, as long as you use it safely.
You did it! Tunnels can be really cool, but it's important that you understand the safety guidelines that come with it. I'll read them as we continue on for the rest of the test. Rule 1. You cannot place tunnels on metallic surfaces. Metals tend to repel tunnel technology. Rule 2. Not really a rule, but you shouldn't worry about falling from high altitudes. The weird things on your legs take up all the shock. Rule 3. Do not straighten your arms. The device has a big kickback when you fire, so you don't want to break any bones. Or deal with the insurance. Rule 4. Do not touch the barrel of the gun or stick any fingers or any limbs in it. Rule 5. Do not compare the ecliptic tunneling device with the Aperture Science handheld portal device. They are different. Very different. Don't even think about it. Rule 6. These rules are important. Don't forget them. Rule 7. The device is not waterproof. Contact with water could cause a dangerous malfunction, opening a dimensional hole into a different time. This hasn't been scientifically proven, but it's safe to assume. Rule 8. Only point at what you want to shoot. Shooting humans has never been tested, so don't be the first one. Or cause anyone to be the first one. You might be liable in those situations. Rule 9. Keep your finger off the trigger when you don't want to fire. In some cases, subjects inspect the gun, which could be very dangerous if you are looking down into the chamber of the device. Rule 10. Don't think about how the device works. Numerous subjects who have thought about it have... Just don't think about it. Isn't it weird though? Are you the same person coming in as the person coming out? Like, are you being built, or is there like a duplicate world somewhere, and we just think it's the same world? It's really mind-boggling, huh? Makes you want to think about it. Right! Rule 11! Wait... Uh... Um... Uh... Sorry, just give me a minute. Careful! Right! Have fun! Oh no!
careful. New level! Don't be intimidated by the size of the room. Velocity, or speed, is constant between two tunnels. For example, if your pencil happened to roll off your desk into a tunnel on the floor while your other tunnel was on a wall, it would fly out of it. Objects you may be carrying with the device will also retain their speed along with you. I should probably mention, if you're scared of heights, try not to hit yourself in the head from blowing your arms. Brain dead subjects cannot test. We've tried it before.
careful! Level 3. 